First off, thank you to you and your team for using Lovett this year. We are beyond excited to be sharing the system with you. There are two roles on Lovett Dashboard, Analyst and Scouting Lead. This video will be detailing the features on Lovett Dashboard that are only available to users with the Scouting Lead role. If you are looking for the regular Lovett Dashboard walkthrough, it will be linked in the description. First, I will go through the process of registering your team. This process is done once by only one person on your team. Whoever does the team registration will automatically have the scouting lead role, but they will be, have the ability to upgrade other users that have joined using the team code to the scouting lead role. Go to your app store and search Love It Dashboard. Once downloaded, you will be greeted with this screen. You will then be prompted to make an account. Using this account, you can sign in on different devices and all your settings will be saved. Next, enter your team number. If you are the first person on your team to use Lovett Dashboard, you can go ahead and start the team registration process, assuming you're a team captain, scouting lead, or mentor. If you're not one of those roles, instruct someone on your team who is in a leadership position to do this process instead. Enter your team email. If for some reason you don't have one, enter your personal email instead. You will then receive a verification email. If you don't see one after a couple of minutes, you can tap this button to resend it. Click the link in the email to verify your account. Now you have successfully finished registering your team. The next couple of screens will ask you to select where your data is coming from. This will only affect the numbers you see and have no impact on others on your team. First, we will start in the settings page. In addition to the normal settings, which you can learn more about in our Love It dashboard walkthrough, that is once again linked in the description, there are two scouting lead specific settings. The first being the team code. Both scouters and Love It dashboard users will need this to join your team. To reveal the code, tap the button in the upper right hand corner. Secondly, to upgrade users on your team from analysts to scouting leads, go to the bottom of the setting page and select users from the list of analysts that have already joined your team. At this point in time, we have no way of demoting people, so ensure that you truly want to upgrade the people you are choosing before you do so. The next feature is scouter schedules. I highly recommend that you make scouter schedules because it simplifies the process of scouting a match for your scouters and completely reduces the chance of them entering incorrect match information. First, ensure that you have the correct tournament selected and settings. Create a new shift by tapping the purple plus. Choose the starting and ending matches of the shift, which are inclusive. Then assign scouters to the teams. Team 1 is the first team on the Red Alliance, Team 2 is the second, and so on. You may assign more than one or no scouters to a given team. The list of scouters is the list of people who have downloaded Love It Collection and joined using the team code. So if you are missing scouters, then you can instruct them to download Love It Collection. Then they will appear on the list. You can edit scouter shifts at any point. However, if you are at a venue with spotty reception, scouters may not be able to load in the new schedule immediately, so just keep that in mind. To delete shifts, swipe to the left until this happens. Scouting leads can also edit notes. Go to the team lookup page, search a team number, go to the notes tab, and tap the pencil in the upper right hand corner of the note you want to edit. Simply enter in your new note and you're done. The final feature is the match data viewer. Long hold on a specific match and team in the match schedule page. Then pick from a list of scout reports from scouters on your team. Once you have selected a scout report, you will see the data that was collected in the specific scout report. At the top, you will see the auto path, robot roll, stage, and high note that they recorded, as well as the total number of points, defensive events, amp scores, speaker scores, trap scores, and pickups. To see the data on a more granular level, you can flip to the Timeline tab. This will show each event with a timestamp. It's important to note that everything on the post-match screen in Love It Collection, like robot roll, stage, etc., will not show up on the timeline, but can be viewed on this screen. Scouting leads can not only see this page, but can delete the scout report they are viewing by tapping the trash can in the upper right-hand corner. For more information on how Love It Dashboard Analysis works, watch the video linked in the description and don't hesitate to reach out to us at loveit.app/support.